I'm a 21-year-old college senior graduating with a degree in entrepreneurship living in New York City. My income varies month to month, but I make about $40,000 a year. I made $626 working as a cocktail waitress at an upscale lounge, plus $1,000 in tips, $1,700 for selling my lightly used underwear and socks on Craigslist, and $2,496 for my other side gigs, like selling clothes on Depop, working retail, and walking dogs. Last but not least, after one of my regular underwear clients opened up to me about his armpit fetish, I made an extra 500 bucks by allowing him to smell my armpit. We met up and I was pretty much fully clothed and just let him smell it <laughs> for like 15 minutes. This month was particularly lucrative for me because I took home about $6,322. I spend $1,300 a month for rent, $141.76 on average for my utilities, $252.56 on monthly subscriptions, $30 a month to charity donations, which leaves me about $4,597.68 to spend. I do have around $2,500 in credit card debt. My parents set up a savings account for me when I was younger for my college education that I also contribute to now. I'm so, so, so lucky that my parents were able to help me out and it's not lost on me and what a great privilege this is because I know not everyone has their parents that are able or willing to help them out with their education. And I have about $10,000 in my savings account. Here's my last statement. My largest purchase was to Funari Fashion for $2,745.60, which is a consulting slash manufacturing agency. And I'm trying to start my own lingerie company. Really comfy, cute, organic cotton. They've just been helping me put my business together. I hired them to go over some manufacturing stuff and technical design. This was for samples I was creating for a photo shoot. I needed the samples created ASAP and they were kind of expensive. I spent $40 at Body & Pole. Body & Pole is a fitness studio specializing in pole dancing and aerial arts. I donated $5 to the Human Rights Campaign. I donated $10 to the ACLU that I do every month. I feel like donating monthly to charities and nonprofits is really important to me because I feel like it's a small but impactful way I can try and make a difference. I just try and find every little small way that I can show my support for things that I care about. $25.50 on Uber Eats, $27.42 on Uber Eats, $19.85 on Uber Eats. I have Uber Eats for every meal. <laughs> Dry bar, I spent $58.28 to get my hair blown out. Basically the whole cocktail waitress job is based on what I look like. So I have to make sure those standards are really high up because that's how you differentiate yourself is by looking nice. So I have to get my hair done and my makeup done. I have to make sure I'm in tip top shape all the time. $14.14 .14 at Dwayne Reed. So I have a routine every week. I have to do it or else I'm really grumpy. I have to take a bath with Epsom salt and light candles and eat my dinner in the bathtub while I watch Bob's Burgers. It's like my self-care routine. $20 uh, at Planned Parenthood. I did an extra donation that month. I value my reproductive rights and I want them to be protected. I spent $37.84 at Target to buy underwear in bulk. They equal out to like a dollar or two dollars a pair and that's what I use for my dirty underwear business. I started selling my underwear on Craigslist when I was a cam girl. At that time, customers would bid on the underwear I would wear during the show and I would mail it to them. And once I stopped camming, I realized that that was still a thing that I could do. So I went on Craigslist and I realized that there were other girls out there that were putting ads out to sell their used underwear and socks. And so that's how I got into that officially. To be honest, selling my underwear has made me feel really empowered because I feel like I'm in control of my body. It feels really awesome to be able to provide a healthy outlet for um, people with these fetishes. I never feel like I'm in danger. I always use a fake name and a fake email to contact my customers. I meet them in public places and sometimes I don't meet them at all. I just mail it to them using a fake return address. I spent $38.44 at Target. I was buying command hooks for my apartment. <laughs> I had to hang up some stuff, but I didn't know which ones were going to work best, so I bought a bunch.
$275 at Egg Studios. I booked a studio space to do the photo shoot that I got the samples for, for the company I'm trying to start, and it was really awesome. I'll probably use the studios again. $82.51 at Forever 21, $19.59 at Best Buy, $204.70 at H&M, $89.40 at Victoria's Secret, $47.25 on Whole Foods, and $76.20 at the Geek Squad. And all of those were for the photo shoot. I was buying some accessories and clothes to go with the lingerie. I had to get a new SD card, and then my computer was having some issues, so I wanted to make sure it was all good and ready before we did the shoot. And that's why I had the Geek Squad fix it. I spent $125 on American Airlines. That was actually for a pet ticket. I was flying my ex-boyfriend's dog out to see him because I'm a really good ex-girlfriend. Triggered. <laughs> I highly recommend everyone read You Are a Badass at Making Money, Mastering the Mindset of Wealth by Jen Sincero. That I think has really helped me to be financially independent and make money. The book is all about developing a healthy relationship with money and creating a mindset that will let you get rich. Not wanting to make money to make money, but wanting to make money to do something good for the world. And creating a mindset that will help you create energy for the universe to bring you money. It sounds really like foo-foo, like, oh, energy, universe, but it really makes sense. I would love the underwear brand I'm trying to launch to be my main source of income. I know it's gonna take a few years to get to that point, but my goal is to have my own business and have that be my life. I hope that I can sell the venture, start something new, make that big, start something new, sell that. I'm very entrepreneurial by nature, I always have been. 